Hey, what's up? Welcome back to this new video. This one is paper three of May, June 2007 of A level math, obviously. Uh, now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions that we have for you today. Now, let's move on to question number one. So, here we have to expand this um, in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x squared. Okay, so not too hard. Simplifying the coefficients. Cool. Now, uh, we do understand we have to use the, uh, the formula here for the binomial expansion. So, for example, I do know, well, for the expansion, we have 1 plus x power n. Now, for us to be able to use this expansion, expansion this has to be plus 1, and this has to be negative in this case. Or it could be a fraction for other cases, but here we have to be negative. Now, once you have those Condition satisfied, this is equal to what? 1 plus n times x plus n uh, times n minus 1 times x squared over the value of 2 factorial. Now, obviously, it keeps going on, but we don't need to do more than this over here because you only need the term up to x squared. Now, let's observe to see what we have. So, here we have 2 uh, plus 3x power minus 2. Now this is not 1, so we have to change that, make it become 1. How? Take it outside, you have 2. Now when you take it outside, you also have to give it the, the power. Now it become 1 plus 3x, of course, divided by, by 2. Because the idea is, if you want to bring it back in, you're supposed to get back the same thing. right? Now we have this. Now let's confirm, this is plus 1, and this is negative, so we can use this formula right here. Now, what is this value? Um, well, by the laws of indices, we need to know we can bring this down and become 1 over 2 power 2, which is 1 over 4, right? So let me write this down for now as 1 over 4, and the rest I will have to expand. So, this is 1. Again, we, do, we are doing this by comparison, by just plugging the values in the formula. So, this is my 1. This is my new x, which is this one. And my n will be this one, right? So by comparison, so 1 plus n, n is minus 2. x here will be 3 over 2x plus minus 2 minus 3 over 2 factorial times x squared will be 3x over 2 squared. So one by one, uh, let's see what happens. So this will become 1 will cancel out, minus uh, 3x, and uh, this this will cancel out the sign, and this will go away. And here you will have plus 9 times 3 will be 27 over the value of 4x squared. Now finally we have to expand the brackets, so that will be 1 over 4 minus 3 over 4x plus 27 over 16x squared. There you go. So this is the expansion of this one up to the term in x squared. And that is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have a polynomial, this thing, where a is a constant, is called p of x. So let me rewrite this down. So I can see what p of x is equal to what? 1x cubed. So here we don't have square, so we can write plus 0x squared minus 2x plus 8. Now, it is given that this thing is a factor of p of x. So what does that really mean? It means that if you were to take p of x, divide by this thing, the remainder will be 0. That's what it really means. Now, this is the factor for, but for what value of x? We just take the value here. If we do 0, x will be the value of minus 2. It means that if p takes in the value of minus 2, it will have to be 0 for the remainder. So let's do that. Using that knowledge, here we have minus 2 cubed, tell me, minus 8. Here we have 0. Minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. Here we have plus 8, that will be 0. Simplify. That will be minus 4 plus 8. So a will have to be the value of 4. That is part 1. Now for part 2, uh, when a has this value, find the quadratic factor of p of x. So find the other factor of p of x. Now how do you do that? We 
we have to find this by using a long division. That is one method. So let's do that. So p of x is now x power 3 plus 0x square minus 2x plus a. Again, when performing long division, it is very useful to write this term as well. You will see why. So let's do that. So long division. Here you go. Here we have the factor as x plus 2. Now, how do you perform this? So, we look at the first one. How do you make x become x cubed? You have to multiply by x squared, right? Now, take the whole thing times this. You will have x cubed plus 2x squared. Here you go. So, this will go away. Here we have 0 minus 2 will be minus 2x squared minus 2x plus 4. Our next step, how do you make x become minus 2x squared? So, Multiply by minus 2x. Now take the whole thing, times this, you will have minus 2x squared minus 4x. This will cancel out, and here we have minus 2 minus minus 4 will be plus 2x and plus 4. Now, again, same steps. How do you make x become 2x? Multiply by plus 2. That will be 2x plus 4 as it should be, and you have to have 0 here because we know this is a factor, the remainder will be 0, and the quotient here will be your other quadratic factor. So you can write this well, the other quadratic factor is, is x squared minus 2x plus 2. There you go. And this is your question number 2. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.